This is the new XL Plus controller from Horner Automation. It features a 15-inch diagonal screen with 24-bit color support for outstanding graphics. It has a 4x3 aspect ratio and 1024x768 resolution. It doesn't have physical function keys along the side, but if you press here, function keys appear, where they can be used when you need them and then later retracted when you don't. The XL Plus is rated for washdown environments such as UL Type 4X. It also can be used in ambient temperature ranges from minus 10 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. Now let's take a look at what can be found along the back of the unit. In this area here, this is where the I.O. can be installed. This particular model you are looking at right now is called a Model Zero. That means it comes from the factory with no I.O. installed. However, we offer five other models, which include anywhere from 22 to 42 I.O. points of digital and analog I.O. Let's take a peek at the ports along the bottom, starting with a pair of Gigabit Ethernet ports, LAN 1 and LAN 2. These ports are completely independent. It's not just a built-in switch. The XL Plus supports powerful Ethernet capabilities, including Ethernet IP and Modbus TCP, WebMI web serving, and sending emails. Microphone and audio output jacks are next. These could be used to play sound files, maybe to prompt an operator, or the sound from a self-help video to show a new operator how to run the machine. On the far left are two USB-A ports. These can be used for the connection of thumb drives for file transfer or data logging, as well as USB video cameras for live video on the screen. Next is a mini display port, the first for an OCS. In the future, you'll be able to mirror the screen on an external display. It's compatible with all the popular digital interfaces like DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort. Lastly, we have the battery access door. This provides easy access to the replaceable battery. The battery backs up the variable memory in the XL Plus and is rated for seven to 10 years. Let's turn the unit 90 degrees and examine the side along the door hinge. You have input power, which is a wide range 10 to 30 volts DC. You have the first CAN port. There are two total on the product. This particular port is fixed with C-SCAN protocol and is typically used for I.O. expansion. Next, we have three serial ports, MJ1, 2, and 3. You'll also notice that in addition to the three serial ports, there are no jumpers or dip switches. That's because all port parameters, including termination, are electronically switched. Now let's look at the side away from the door hinge. We start with the micro SD memory slot. This slot can handle cards up to 32 gigabytes in size, and in the future, we'll be able to handle larger cards without a hardware change. We have a USB on the go mini B port to connect to your computer for programming purposes. Then we have the CAN2 port. This is the second CAN port and the one that is the most versatile. It can support expansion I.O., but it can also support the CAN Open Field Bus as a master or slave, the J1939 Automotive Networking Standard, and it can even support DeviceNet. Then you see an actual third USB-A port. So again, the XL Plus has support for a total of three USB-A ports, plus one USB on-the-go port for programming purposes.